When a man of science, a man whose erudition and integrity have never been questioned, tells us of an experience that fits into the category of the unexplained, it is difficult to question it. Dr. Hilprick was such a scientist, and his is the remarkable story of a man who journeyed into the past. Dr. Herman Hilprecht is known to students of antique culture throughout the world. His book, Old Babylonian Inscriptions, is held in high repute. This is the book on which he was laboring that night in the spring of 1893 when the strange, the incredible thing happened. It was well past midnight, and he had been sitting in his study for several hours, puzzling over two simple sketches that lay on his desk. At length, the door opened, and his wife entered the room, inquiring gently. Had you not better stop now, dear? It's getting very late. Please, please, my dear. I cannot stop until I've solved these two problems. A half hour passed, and then an hour. And still he sat brooding at his desk. Then, once again, the door opened behind him. And footsteps approached his chair. Dr. Hilprecht turned angrily. My dear, I thought you were asleep by now. Won't you please? Oh. The doctor's voice trailed off into silence. For it was not his wife who stood looking over his shoulder. It was a priest of the ancient temple of Bell. I will help you. Come with me. Suddenly a silvery mist seemed to cover everything. And gradually the walls of the office dissolved into it. The doctor, moving as if in a great void, followed the weird white figure until the two stood at last in a great room. Where am I? You are at Nepal, in the treasure chamber of the Temple of Bell. It was here that I received the command from a mighty king to make for the statue of the god Nurim a pair of agate earrings. And the inscription on them? To the god Ninib, son of Bell, his lord Perikalsu, Pontifex of Bell has presented this. Dr. Hilprecht found himself once again in his own study, seated before his desk. For a moment, he thought he had dreamed. But then suddenly a hand fell on his shoulder. He turned to find the priest of the Temple of Bell still standing above him. There, on the page that lies open before you, the name of Nebuchadnezzar. It is wrong. It means, Nebo, protect my boundary. Why, yes, that's it. Boundary. I... Oh. But Dr. Hilprecht's gratitude fell on the empty air. For the priest of Bell had vanished. Yes, this is the amazing story told by a man of science. From any source less reputable than this, it would be a story that might be readily brushed aside. And even now, its authenticity might well be doubted, were it not for the fact that Dr. Hilfrecht's translation of the inscription on the agate and his interpretation of the meaning of Nebuchadnezzar's name have stood the test of time and further research. And this is a fact, incredible but true. Mm -hmm.